in this video, we're going to be multiplying polynomials, and I'm going to show you two different methods to multiply polynomials. And you'll be able to pick which method you prefer. So multiply polynomials, the big thing that you have to remember here is that when you do x times x, you get x squared. So when you multiply x times x, you get x squared. x plus x is 2x. It's important that you keep those two things straight so that you know the difference. So two different methods. First, I'm going to show you just how to do it with the distributive property. So the problem that we're going to do is 2x plus 3 times x minus 4. To do this with the distributive property, I take the 2x and I multiply it by x. So 2x times x is 2x squared, because remember x times x is x squared. Then we take that 2x and we multiply it by negative 4. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. Then we take the 3 and we distribute it. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And you can use your calculator for any of that multiplying that you need to, any of that that you're like, oh, I'm not quite sure of those signs, use your calculator. Then we have to look for like terms, and our like terms are right there in the middle, negative 8x plus 3x. Negative 8x plus 3x is negative 5x. Bring down the negative 12, bring down the 2x squared, and that's your answer. The other way to do this is the box method. For the box method, we're going to use that same problem, 2x plus 3 times x minus 4. For the box, it's 2x plus 3, so I'm going to write 2x and plus 3 on the side. And I'm going to write x minus 4 at the top. And then we just multiply the top of the box times the side of the box. So x times 2x is that 2x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x, and negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And again, we look for our like terms, and they're the 3x and the negative 8x. So again, we get 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. We get the exact same answer. So let's try another problem. Number 2. 5x minus 1 times 4x plus 3. 5x minus 1 times 4x plus 3. So I'm going to do this one just with a distributive property. If you want to draw the box, then that is perfectly fine. You get the exact same answer. So I do 5x times 4x. 5 times 4 is 20x times x is x squared. 5x times 3. 5 times 3 is 15, so 15x. Then I take the negative 1 and I distribute it. Negative 1 times 4x is negative 4x. And negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Then we look for our like terms. That's the 15x minus 4x. And we get 20x squared plus 11x minus 3. So let's try one more problem, number three. So number three, we're gonna do x plus two times x squared plus four x minus six, or minus nine. So this one's a little bit different. It's got x squared in it. I'm going to choose to do the box method for this one. So I'm gonna put the x plus two along the side and I'm going to put the x squared plus 4x minus 9 along the top. 
And I'm choosing the box on this one because of these three terms. So then we multiply x times x squared. If x times x was x squared, x times x squared is x cubed, because there's three of them. Then we do x squared times two is two x squared. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 2 is 8x. Negative 9 times x is negative 9x. And negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. So the box method for this problem keeps it kind of all organized for me. I've got the x cubed, so I'm going to write that down first. I've got 2x squared and 4x squared. That makes 6x squared. 8x and negative 9x makes negative 1x or just negative x and then minus 18. Please reach out to your teacher if you need some more help besides just those three examples.